Welcome to the Lottie Files iOS tutorial. Here we are going to understand how to use Lottie animations in your Xcode project using SwiftUI. So to start, let's create a new Xcode project. I'm going to select iOS app and then hit next. Here I'm going to say Lottie tutorial Swift. UI, select Swift UI as interface and then Swift and then hit next. Then create. Once we have our project created, we need to import the Lottie library. To do so, let's select the project and then project in the middle and then package dependencies. Hit the plus button. If you don't see Lottie iOS in your list in the middle, what you have to do is type HTTPS column slash slash github.com slash airbnb slash lottie ios and then hit enter and you're going to see lottie ios in the middle then add package make sure that your target is selected add package and then boom you have the lottie library already connected now we're going to understand how to use lottie animations in our swift ui class so for that we're going to select content view and then here we're not going to be using the previewer so we're just going to delete this code and then what we have to do is actually create a representable view for the lot animation so let's just create it here we're going to say struct lot view and this is going to be a ui view representable in here, we're going to need actually two classes. One of them is make UI view. The type of context, UI view representable context. And the type of this context is going to be the view itself, Lottie view. And then the return is going to be actually just UI view. So you can remove some. And then we need one more class because it's going to tell us to add. And then here we can just add update UI view. We're not going to be using this, but it's required because of the UI view representable. All right, so inside of the make UI view, we're going to add our code to add our Lottie animation. So first thing we're going to do here is create a view to wrap our Lottie animation view. So let's cr just create let view UI view. And this is going to be frame and then zero. It doesn't really matter the size. And then return view. Okay, so this is our wrapper. To start with that, we're going to first import Lottie. And then we have let animation view. And then add animation view. And then just, just like that. Once we have our animation view, let's set our content mode. So we're going to say Animation view dot content mode is going to be aspected. All right. Then we are also going to set the loop mode, which is going to be just loop. All right. So we have our content mode and then the loop mode. Now it's time to actually start loading an animation. We're going to actually make the URL of this animation customizable for this Lottie view. So we're going to create on the top of everything here inside of Lottie view, a var that is going to be URL and the type is URL. So this is going to be created with the Lottie view itself. And then we're going to load our animation from the URL using animation dot loaded from URL, then the closure, which is going to be animation in and then we just set animation view dot animation equals to animation and then of course we have to play this animation we don't need a closure so we just say play and then if you want to cache this animation what we do is add the cache rule here so l r u animation cache dot shared cache once we have done that, now we have to add our animation view into our view. So we say view dot 
add subview animation view and then just to fix the constraints inside of this animation we're going to just add the height and the width to be exactly the same as the view so we're going to say animation view dot translate auto resizing mask into constraints and it's going to be false and we're going to activate two layout constraints One of them is going to be animation view dot height anchor constraint equal to view dot height anchor. And the other one is animation view dot width anchor dot constraint view dot width. There we go, we have our animation view. Now it's time to play something. So let's go to lottiefiles.com and find an animation for us to play. I'm going to search here for magic. Oh, then we have a bunch of animations. I like this one, I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to come here, lottie animation URL and then copy the URL. Go back to our app and then instead of text here, we're going to change to Lottie view and then we're going to send the URL over there so we're going to say here URL string and then our URL and then force and wrap it then of course we're going to play and then see what happens and there we go we have our animation playing cool right well this is it now you know how to use Lottie animations with SwiftUI thank you for watching